Hello YouTube friends, welcome to the Red Parrot Channel. I am your host, Marie Ellen. This is an episode of Junk Journal July that is hosted by Meg at Meg Journals here on YouTube, and she also has an Instagram account at Meg Journals. Both of those locations will give you the full prompt list or access to it, um, or at least the route to it, as well as a list of creators, one creator per day, that will give you sort of hints and inspiration for the day's prompt. Let us get after something. So, um, let us start with what I should have started with yesterday, which is a bit of a tour through the dried echo printing. Um, all out of the way. Here we are. This is the pansy. This is the marigold. And the yellow here is um, buckthorn. Now, does this look the one that has it? Um, you can sort of vaguely see um, there um, some strawberry leaves. I think that this is strawberry leaves because this for sure is the strawberry um, leaders. You can see a little bit of schumach there. Um, so that's that one. And these are the strings. When we first opened them and they were wet, there was a lot more color in them. And I think that is a fleeting color or transient, or maybe I didn't wait long enough. And that is something that, according to the internet, uh, I don't do very well. Um, you have to wait 24 hours, and 24 hours is a very long time when you're doing this for the first time. I was way too curious, so I popped it open probably way too early, but there we are. No harm, no foul. Uh, these are roses, marigold, geranium. And does this one have any prints that are better? Yes. So there, you can see there's a print there. That's a uh, rose leaf. That's rose, rose leaf. Um, oh, there's another one over here that's pretty good. There's another rose leaf there. So this was day two or the second attempt. Oh, and here's some more leaves here. And so I will try again today, I think. And we will just continue playing. Um, that's, you know what? I. I am not in a production mode, I am in a play mode. Uh, so, next thing, I'm going to look my little dewy. I said I was going to finish off um, this. I did not, and I didn't because I didn't know what to do. And I, I have a thought that I don't think I should do on screen, though it would probably be hilarious. So I have, uh, Dollar Store has self-adhesive laminating sheets, and you have uh, an extreme sticky side. I'm gonna sneeze, pardon me. Shoo, pardon me. And I want to use the extreme sticky side and maybe cover everything and then cut that open. But I want to lay this down and have this trapped. So basically laminate the sheet, but using this and faffing around might just be a bit too much. In any event, if we have lots of time left, we'll give it a try. Uh, note is, so I just got to do this. Otherwise, you know that we are going to be putting the wrong day on here. 
And this time I'm clever and I brought a Kleenex with me. Pardon me. Okay, so I think this is day 19, day 20, 19, maybe. I think it's 19. Whoops. Uh, the Tub of Joy. Take all of it out. So that was interactive. Oh, letter to myself. Oh. Wow, that that was a full. You could hear the brakes screaming to us halt there. Tell you that. Wow, letter to myself. I have, well, this is literally a letter. Put that aside, I guess. I don't need those. And... Oh, that might Oops, something in that. Every day I say I'm gonna neaten these, and every day, as soon as I turn off the camera, I do not really think about this until the next day. Just put that out of the way. And a letter to myself. So I've got that just because. Uh, a letter to myself. This one's got good letters in it. These large letters. Wow. And where's the um I have the little here it is. Okay. Letter so I don't even know. I have two problems. I have, what am I going to say as a letter to myself? And also, how am I going to execute it? That's a lot. No. Just because I, okay, the better letters, better letters. That's just the color. That's cheekbone text. No. No. Oh, this is an actual letter. 
There are gold ships and there are silver ships, but there is no ship like friendship. It's a very good letter. I'll keep it out for letters. Keep it out for letters. Keep it out for letters. A letter to myself. It's like, do I, am I writing to my younger self? Am I writing to myself now? Am I writing a hope or a wish for the future self? Like, what the hell? Letter to myself. I could send myself the letter G. I am flummoxed. Serious, I've got elbows on the table. So, now I've got two words in my head. One is persevere. And the other is pace. Persevere is part of the reason why my mental health has improved as much as it has. And pace is the other reason why my mental health has improved as much as it has. So, let, let's pace. P-A-C-E. That's the letter. Yep, just gonna tear it. Oops, oh dear. I didn't wanna tear. That's why, because I'm trying to tear it on the book. Silly bean. So pacing is something that is a significant method for ensuring the cognitive system does not get overwhelmed. And my cognitive system does not like being overwhelmed at all. There's a your there. I might have to write this. possible I'm gonna to have to this makes sense to me because it's a letter to yourself this is a letter so I was talking about pacing yes so pacing is the permission you give yourself to stop so uh, for example, is uh, let's say washing the dishes. A fairly healthy mind, healthy brain, does not get overwhelmed with the variety of tasks. P 
picking up the dishes, putting the dishes in the kitchen, uh, arranging them, um, plugging the sink, putting in the soap, pouring the water, doing the dishes in some kind of order, putting them in the um, basket, or at least the, the dry rack, drying them afterwards, and then putting them away. That is a lot of tasks, a lot of steps. And for the, mm, for the overwhelmed brain, that's too much. And so it doesn't get done at all. But if you pace it, all you have to do to start, oops, is put the dishes in the kitchen and then stop. You can walk away. The brain isn't overwhelmed. And if you come back a little later and then you sort of arrange them all, you are doing something called pacing. You are pacing the process, but you're not cramming it all together. You're doing a step and then a break, step and then a break, a step and a break. And you see me doing this here from time to time where I feel my brain getting just really overwhelmed and it's like, okay, stop. And then we, we rest, we regroup. That is massively improve my ability to finish things, to even to, to function, which is awesome. So that's what pacing is. And I have my support group would argue, vociferously, I might add, I think I just want, I want that part, I think. I don't want gentlemen. Let's start there. That the healthy mind also benefits significantly from pacing. You don't have to do it all at once. You just don't. So, long way of saying P-A-C-E, pace. And if I could do yourself, I would do that as well. Um, there's that, and... You can do it. Well, this one already does have the fold over. Hmm. Funny. Eh, good enough. Good enough. scissors from one from pillow to post. And apparently my glue as well. Now which way does this go? This goes this way. Enough here. 
Oops, that's book shifting. Let me, there we are. That pastes really nicely. I want to back that. Now I wonder if the oracle has got the word yourself. Or even yourself. Oh, I can, yeah, okay, never mind. I'm good. And more tearing. Just a hair of an edge. Uh, oh, I haven't gotten to sports and weather this morning yet. Uh, sports, Jay's lost. Oops, don't even. Um, and weather is going to be nice until it's not, and then it is going to be Thunderbusters. So that seems something to look forward to or not. Okay, so here's my thought. I need a pencil or something. Zoma to write with. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I gotta get up. I get a pencil. Because in all of that mess. Oh, here we are. I'm gonna shake you maybe. Here we are. Here we are. And what I want to do, because this is a letter to me, it needs to somehow resonate in a way that makes sense to me. And so we're going to sew. We are going to stitch the words. Is this attached to anything? Nope. And we had fun with this yesterday. This is a better color. Come on, you can come out. There we are. So I'm just undoing this. Oh, this is not strong. That's okay. It is not strong. Just try doubling.
Okay, good enough. All right. So we will try. What's this? So lack of pacing, or let's say in the positive, pacing, I think, has a significant effect on reducing frustration. So if you are, you can't do something or um, something has just got y'all wound up, you can stop. And stopping, taking a breath, taking a rest. That's a bit of a mess. Did one of them break? Yeah. All right. Well, live and learn. Doesn't need to be perfect. Helps. Stopping. My mom used to call it quitting while you're ahead. And quitting while you're ahead was that idea of uh, stopping when you still have some energy left to either put things away or, um, you know, have a restful moment, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm going to just do some pre-pokes. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, I've poked some little holes in there so it'll make the sewing easier. And I'm just doing some back stitch. There's the puh. Look at that. Practically finished. Uh, peace. Whatever. Oh, another update, uh, not update. Uh, uh, Gracie and I are friends again, so that's good. She is sort of behaving herself, so that's always great news.
I currently have her, or she is currently, uh, I don't have her, uh, she's choosing, um, but the front door open so she has access to all of the sniffs from outside, which apparently is really great. When she gets bored of that, I am certain she will mention what she wants to do next. So the one string broke and this is now thicker than that, which is uh, fine by me. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Because it gives the words some texture. Oh, and I hear construction trucks arriving. Gonna be another day of noise and vibration, and holy smokes, does my brain not like that? Like, does not like. There's pace, and then do the E. Hi. Hi, how are you? Are you saying hi to everybody? Okay. You do you. Speaking of new, you do you, I think t Mr. Tim Holtz is coming out with his Halloween stuff, which is kind of stressing me out. I was at Michael's last week and they've got their Halloween stuff out. It's like, no, no, no. I, I understand the lead and the need to have the supplies out early. Totally get it. I am a maker. I get it. Uh, there is a part of me that can't cope, however. There we are, it's gonna be good enough. There is pace. And do I do it in the same color? Uh, that's ort jar material. Sure. There is no reason to be that complicated. And I'm just going to cut. Not cut, not use, just not use. Oh, maybe I will have to cut. She just broke. She broke. Yeah. Here, just get rid of that because it's 
knee happy, not too. And where'd the end go? Here we are. Whee! There we are. Oops. There we are. Here, that's better. In retrospect, I could have done a little bit more careful writing on the bottom, but oh well. It is what it is. Sometimes I think the pursuit of perfection, whatever that is, is a bit of a trap because you always, always, there may be a belief of what perfect looks like, but nobody knows what good looks like. or satisfying, or all of those other kinds of words. So, like I say, it's a trap. If it's not perfect, it's not good? No. They may, in fact, be mutually exclusive.
gosh, I love doing this. There is something so satisfying about slow stitching. Wow, we sure did put a lot of dots in the R. I could match that, but I'm not going to. It feels more rustic if I don't. Looking at the clock, we have 15 minutes left-ish. And the thought occurs that it probably takes me, regardless of what we are doing, about 45 minutes to an hour to do one of these. And I think just the practice of doing art for an hour every morning is pretty great. Possibly one of the reasons why I like this so much. Oops. I feel very pleased that I selected the color orange to go with the blue. Because orange, I think, hmm, is the opposite color. It's not the opposite. The, um, the proper contrasting. The immediate contrasting. On the color wheel, it's opposite the blue. And therefore provides the most contrast. Nope, where are we? That is? No. Oh, that is, okay, never mind. Yeah. Ta-da! Pace yourself. Look at that. Pace yourself and use 
and pay attention to your colors. There. Done, you done. Pace yourself. just as simple as pace yourself and I just want to see if the bee will show up and I think that'll be fine I don't know why I want to put the bee down it seems uh, certain amount of industriousness maybe bees paste themselves. I suppose animals by their nature know how to do that. They, they stop when they're tired and they're like, mm, yeah, no, I'm having a little rusty rest now. What's it? The, the, um, there's a quote by somebody, quotation by somebody, that's mother nature does everything in its own time and is neither is not rushed and yet accomplishes everything. Yeah, good enough. Okay, so um I need some here. So nice this. Um, I should probably use this glue. thinking that it's getting close to school season again and school season I think is a good time to supply up on glue sort of part of the sales that happen I know we just got out of school but just like Tim Holtz's Halloween heaven forbid you should not have a second without sales. So pace yourself, goes there, and then this is gonna go there. Oh, I don't need that glue. gonna be there there we are so we are done I still need to revisit that and I will continue to faff around with that off camera hi yes I know I know executive producer we're just uh, winding up right now um so that is it for today uh, it is, let's do a check mark. We haven't done check marks in like forever. Letter to myself, done. That's day 20 in the books. Only have 11 more days to go. As always, thank you so much for joining. Really appreciate your company. Please like and subscribe for more episodes. And if you have this to say about that, always happy to read your comments. Thanks, bye now.